I think France will be not be the same without its Jews. I think democracy is how you protect your minorities, how you make them feel at home. The best thing about, I think, electing President Obama is telling the rest of the world how you need to be fair and inclusive to your minority. We were talking before, Don, as you mentioned about Selma. It's, it's about not only the protection, but also about making them feel at home and part of in, in, of the society. Five million Muslims there, but you have a smallest number, as Farid Zakaria mentioned, of radical extremists who killed also Muslims out as well. Mm -hmm. Remember, the police officer that was killed, Ahmad, was a Muslim. But another Muslim defended those Jews but and hid them. You have an issue with anti-Semitism and the rise of anti-Semitism in, in Europe, and you have also an issue with anti-immigration. So people where, will use... Where is all of this coming from? That's a question that people here, who are, people who are watching in America, where is all of this coming from? It comes from the same place. Well, Don, with Hate. all due respect, let's... Go, if, go ahead, Rabbi. No, well, let's be honest. I mean, to separate the anti-Semitism growing in France and in many other European countries, because Jews don't feel comfortable in almost any place in Europe today, it cannot be separated from constant Islamic ex incitement. Now, I believe that Islam is a great world religion. I think Rula is portraying Islam the way it should be portrayed. Having said that, we're not hearing enough of the mainstream Muslims condemning the incitement against Jews, not talking about Israel, not talking about political policy, foreign policy. We're talking about cartoons of Jews with giant noses in Arab state-sponsored media. We're talking about Hamas with a genocidal charter, a genocidal charter calling for the annihilation and extermination of every Jew on planet Earth and people defending Hamas and not saying that if you want to be seen with any kind of legitimacy, you cannot have a charter calling for every Jew to be slaughtered. So with all due respect, I would like to see my Muslim brothers and sisters, I want to see a million Muslim march, not just three and a half million uh, French men and women marching. Muslims have to take their religion back from monsters. You can no longer say there's a small minority inciting anti-Semitism against Jews. On the contrary, this is entering the body politic because it's not being sufficiently repudiated and condemned okay. by the mainstream through uh, large-scale right, activities I, I, and marches. I want Rula to get in because Fried Dukar just said the same thing, that Muslims have to take their religion back. What do you... What I think the religion has been hijacked by these extremists, but they are taking it back. For the first time, I'm seeing millions of people. Remember, in that march... But what do you think he said? He says he wants to see millions uh, of Muslims, a million Muslim march. Um, I think that's a great idea, and I want to invite with that. Let's look but also about the history of what's been happening. Iraq, Syria, Palestine, these were the most secular places on earth in the Middle East, the most secular, until 2003. But then we've seen the rise of these extremists, and they are connected to certain policies. We need to separate extremism from regular ordinary Muslim. We can, we can also blame them for their own suffering, whether it's in Iraq and Syria and elsewhere, because they are really frontline fighting this battle, whether it's in Iraq, in Syria, in, in many other countries, and even within Palestinian t territories. But I, I want to tell to Rabbi, and this is really something that we learned from Selma, as you mentioned, when you uphold the supremacy of one ethnic group, this is not a democracy anymore. This is an ethnocracy. We need to reject that, whether it's in Europe, in Israel or here in America. We can't have segregation as an answer. It's an inclusion and unity. Quickly, Rabbi. I've got, I'm up against Rula, with all due respect, Rula, with all due respect. Okay. Go ahead. Please. Oh, Rula, I was gonna, I was gonna say, with all due respect, Rula, you're excusing violence, and that's very tragic. When you start bringing up that Israel's policy, uh, it's terrible that Jews are being targeted, but Israel has to stop its segregation. Let's stop the nonsense. Israel is the only democracy in the Middle East. You are a Palestinian woman who has Israeli citizenship. You are allowed freedom of expression. No one tells you who to fall in love with. You don't get shot by your uncle or by your brother because you fall in love with someone your father doesn't approve of. You live a Western life. You live with the kind of human rights that Israel protects. Israel has one and have million Muslim Arab citizens. There is no we have, segregation. We've got to go, Rabbi. equals you. We all know that. So let's not That's excuse unfair, violence Rabbi. in the name yeah. of some Israeli policy. Nobody's so I want both it. of you. I want both of you to come back because I think we need to have this a longer discussion. This is unfair, and I really this. feel that you need to reflect on this, and especially based on what I've written and what I've, I've done. It is a Thank time you. issue. Thanks to both of you. We'll have I both of you come back. Thank you. Thank you.